Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode eight with the series here. I went ahead and let the planet run uh, off camera overnight, and you can see that it looks nothing like Earth. <laughs> and that's primarily because, well, it looks a little bit like Earth, but um, some of the land masses here have grown pretty substantial in size. They're looking a little fat. And that's uh, because I the water level is actually finally low. In fact, it's just a little bit lower than where it should be. I'll go ahead and unpause here. So basically what has to happen at this point is a lot of balancing. So looking at the temperature currently going up by plus 14, we got to go ahead and shut that down. Meanwhile, pressure is good. Oxygen needs to be lowered by 45. That's going to be a big one. And we need to get water going up now, or at least balance it out so it's not going down. So first, let's mess with the temperature because that's going to affect the water here. We're going to want to upgrade. Let's see. How much was it? I think 14. So we're going to want to upgrade this. And we'll want to upgrade these as well. I've had a really hard time keeping population in my areas. The population goes up, then it goes down, then it goes up. It's all over the place. Currently, with a lot of these, um, population's all over. So I've actually gone ahead and I'm researching. The children's crash or whatever here so I can get the plus eight population. Or crease or however you say that. So, oh, I'm sorry. No, I actually have researched it. I'm not researching anything. Okay, so that got done. So we've got that. So we're going to be able to build that in a couple areas. I think it's going to be really useful. There's a couple of other things I need. Uh, one of them being the ice launcher. We need the ice launcher so we can actually reduce the amount of water that the hab domes produce. If you remember, the hab domes actually produce 20 water. So that's where a lot of our water is coming from. If we could build the ice launcher. Oh, that's a bummer. If we could build the ice launcher, then I can cut that back. Meanwhile, let's spend our culture point. Just want to keep working on unity as much as possible. What's that put us at? 40%? Okay, so we still got a ways to go. So the ice launcher at 120 will make it minus 34, which will be a lot better. Once I get the temperature fixed, that's going to affect it as well. Right now, the temperature being high is causing a global, uh, causing global heating, global warming, heating, warming, potato, potato. Minus 208. And the hab domes are actually canceling a lot of that out. The ice launcher will cancel. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. The, the hab domes are creating water. The ice launcher will cancel it out. Hmm. So. We need to get this number up. Okay. Getting the temperature up is going to be the largest part of that. Once the temperature's up, that's going to, once the temperature's zeroed out, then where the water is is where it is, and then we got to mess with the numbers there. So we're either trying to increase water or decrease it. And I can't build another geocistern here. I can only upgrade it. Choices, choices. All right, let me rush the temperature so I can see what I'm ending up with. We're only going to spend one Genesis point here. Three Genesis points for these ones though. Ooh. But what's that put me at now? It should be six. I want to see what, what, what kind of effect that has. Or eight. It's eight now. That's a pretty big that's a pretty big jump. Plus 65 is a really big jump. I might not even need the ice launcher then. Is getting rid of that 8 going to put us back in the positives? I feel like it is. So we're probably still going to be upgrading our geocistern. But at least that slows it down. Oxygen is the real killer for us. Especially with those hab domes. So let's move on to oxygen for a second here. We've got plenty of facility space. I want to go ahead and start building our carbon fixer. This does increase pressure by 10. But as we know, the ice launcher reduces pressure by 10. However, with that being said, 
I might not be building the ice launcher. It all depends on when this temperature zeroes out, zero a minute, where that puts water. Because right now the hab domes are, domes are plus 20. And uh, once I zero that out, whatever this is, if it's still in the negatives, then we don't want to build an ice launcher because it's going to go even lower in the negatives. The only time we're going to want to build an ice launcher is when we have four more hab domes. So we might be counteracting that pressure with something else. The plus 10 pressure from the minus 40 oxygen, I think we're going to end up counteracting with, um, I'll show you here. Let me get, uh, let me also build another O2 filter because we're going to need it because we're 44. That's minus 40 and the O2 filter will get us 44. And then I got to reduce car oxygen, but we can do that once we get it zeroed out. So if we want to cancel out the oxygen from the, or I'm sorry, the pressure, the plus 10 pressure, then we need to build two facilities here, or we need to upgrade these sequestration plants. I don't think I'm going to upgrade these. They're currently cancer, canceling out the gas fissures in the planet, which was plus 12. So I'm going to leave these as they are, because if I mess with them, I'm, I could mess that up. So we need to wait till we get another facility. Well, once we get another facility, which we're on our way to getting here, the population should be going up. Then we can uh, go ahead. We can go ahead and cancel out that plus 10 pressure. So that won't be too bad. Let's see, plus eight. Solar activity and climate, uh, climate change. Yep, so this would be plus 10. Oxygen is going to be, oh, it's plus 43 actually. A minus one for oxygen wouldn't be bad. I mean, I would like it to be more than that, but if we're minus one, it's not going to have a huge effect. Oxygen needs to definitely be lowered. We've pretty much destroyed the planet with the uh, oxygen table right now. And then obviously slowing down water. How is population growth currently? Can I see this? Plus 31 a minute. Being spaced out. So at some point here, let's see, featured in hit musical, novels, organized crime causing a minus 10. Actually, no native birth rate because of the pressure. So that's why pressure needs to be reduced a bit. No, I'm sorry, That I apologize. That's no native birth rate in the colony of pressure. Feature to hit symphony. Okay, so that's got plus four. Water has no native birth rate. Okay, so both of those are actually going. Let's see. Uh, if we let it develop organically, we'll get a culture point. We'll definitely take the culture point. So oxygen's gaining population. Even though it's got organized crime. Because of all this other junk. Yikes. Okay, so that's what we need to deal with. That's why I researched that. Because we need to get that ASAP. For the plus eight. Population. Is there any place we can build it currently? I don't think any of these areas have room till they get 250 pops. And they're not going to get 250 pops. Um... If they're not getting any, any people visiting. So how do I get these hab domes filled? I know I can eventually get the space elevator, but I think that still only gives population to the colony it's built in. And I need the spaceport for that. All right. This will cause more people to immigrate, so we're definitely going to need that. So the only thing I could do is upgrade the HAB units that are here and see if that helps. Sometimes it does. People are immigrating around, but we need native population going up. 
Not enough people are immigrating out of oxygen to help these areas. This has to get to population five. Because I can't build anything else here until these are good to go. So that should help us out a bit. Meanwhile, I could still build <clears throat> something to help population here, but we don't really need it. It's getting plenty of population bonuses from the different uh, random events that oxygen has gotten. The masterpieces featured in a hit novel plus eight population featured in a hit musical plus four population featured in another hit novel. Organized crime. Hmm. All right. So after the ice launcher, I'll start working my way down that path since I don't really need the ice launcher anyways. I guess we'll wait till these keep upgrading. Or I got to set them to be upgraded. So let's do that. That'll add another six. So it'll only be plus two now. And then I can upgrade one more here. Uh, the cooling plant one more. That'll cancel it out. Meanwhile, it's going to be a population game. Just waiting to see who here gets up first. And then once we get the populations up so that I can build the facilities here, I'll build that facility that gets us the plus eight population on every single one of these. And that way they'll all constantly be growing. Then we don't have to worry about them shutting down in the future because that'll hurt us a lot if they do. Uh, once all of that's done, then I can address everything else. Meanwhile, things like water have slowed down, so it'll be fine. It'll even slow down more as the temperature increase kicks in. Pressure's canceled out. Don't have to worry about that. Our only biggest concern is oxygen. That's the biggest concern for us. And luckily, we don't have to worry that much about it because we're currently building our carbon fixer and an O2 filter so we can slowly start reducing it. But uh, luckily, oxygen is one of the few places that weren't affected by the population issues. So being able to get to that carbon fix are going to help us out a lot. Um, so everything will actually kind of slow down and stable out. And then fixing the planet will begin. And that's going to be probably the most trickiest of it all. Earth's pretty banged up. But I think if we get the numbers pretty close, life should return. Biosphere-wise... We've lost a lot of creatures, but it still can be fixed. There is still, there's no more animals, but there's still some vegetation that's alive and some bacteria. It is all endangered. If I get the oxygen situation under control and lowered, a lot of this will go back to normal. So it'll be pretty good. One thing, let's see. Okay. One thing I did want to look at was... Well, how off is the pressure now that it's stabilized? A lot. 30,000 is a lot. So that needs to be reduced so those populations can thrive more. So that's going to be one thing we're going to need to do at pressure. I'm not going to upgrade these sequestration plants because, like I said, they're currently canceling out the 12. If I upgrade it, then I can't shut it off once we get back down to 100,000. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, when the population gets up, we'll build another sequestration plant. At minus four, we'll let it run in the background and just do its thing. Once it gets down to the Goldilocks zone there, we'll turn it off. And then uh, that'll be a lot better. We'll do the same thing for all of these as time goes on. But I'll focus my energy on oxygen and focus my energy on pressure. And pressure is going to be the most important one. Temperature is important too, but it's, it hasn't actually gotten that wildly out of control yet. Oxygen and pressure have. Uh, oxygen will be really easy though because uh, it's our best colony and we're already building the carbon fixer. So once that's constructed and then I have the O2 filter, it's just going to be turning on and off the O2 filter to get us to that Goldilocks zone. But the, the carbon fixer is going to produce 10, 10 more pressure, so we have to cancel that pressure out on top of everything else. That's something we've got to consider. So we'll have a lot more information to go off of when I come back in the next episode. But I want to thank you all for joining me. I'm going to let it run in the background for a bit. And we'll uh, come back and see where it is. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.